channel my name is Scarlett Rose for those that are new visiting me hey welcome today I'm going to be making a highly requested dessert a delicious dessert so delicious that everyone at my job all of my co-workers in my department they always want me to make this dessert and my friends they just want me to hurry up and put some to the side for them so they can make sure they get some Guess what dessert it is? Guess what? It is called Strawberry Cheesecake Punch Bowl Cake. And that is the dessert I'm going to be sharing with you today. Like I said, this dessert is so good that when I have to make some for my potluck at work, I got to make some for my family too. So that means two desserts I have to make just to make sure everybody is satisfied and they get some. So let me go ahead and explain and describe some of the products we're gonna be using today for this delicious dessert. And guess what? It's really easy to make. I do a cheat way on how to make this. Let me show you. So today I'm gonna to be using some cool whipped topping. You could use whipped cream, Cool Whip whatever you prefer. I'm gonna be using some lemon cake, some already made lemon cake. And I am going to be also using some socket to me cake, already made. If you prefer to make the cake your, on your own, you can buy some Duncan Hines or any box cake, yellow cake, whatever cake, and make it yourself. But I'm a working mom. Hey, I'm trying to do things the easy way, especially after you done worked eight hours and you come home and you know you got a potluck coming up and you wanna get a, a fantastic dessert that's really good and you wanna bring it to work so people are happy and you don't have to spend a lot of time in the kitchen doing it, this is the dessert to make, honey. This is good for, thanks, uh, for any holidays, any summer holidays, any parties potlucks like i said this is the bomb so we're going to be using cheesecake jello pudding we're going to be using some fresh strawberries so we're going to cut these up i'm using three of these because i'm going to take some to my friend who always asks me to make this for her I'm gonna take some to her, her name is Vivian. I'm gonna make some for her and put some to the side for her and make sure she gets some. So we're also gonna use two cups of milk. So let's get these strawberries cleaned up and washed and cut. Now that I have the strawberries already cleaned off and rinsed off, we're gonna start cutting them. So let me show you how I cut these strawberries. So we're gonna take the strawberry, juicy too, it looks delicious. We're gonna cut off all of the stems off of them. And we're gonna cut it We're gonna cut it, we're gonna split it. Um, we're gonna cut it in diagonal so we get like three of these out of one. Aunt Michelle, she used to tell me that I used to love some strawberries as a little girl, as a little baby. And it's just funny now to see that I love strawberries. She used to, I guess, she introduced me to strawberries when I was a girl, a little baby, a little girl. And I loved them so much. And now I'm cooking with strawberries. Again, this is a no-bake cheesecake pudding strawberry punch bowl cake. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. 
I would love to share all of these recipes with you. And I want you to keep coming back and visiting me. So now that we have the strawberries already cut up and ready, we're now going to make the pudding, the cheesecake pudding. Again, this is a no-bake cheesecake dessert. So we're going to get the pudding ready. We're using two of these jello cheesecake. And I'm using the sugar fat free, but you could use whatever you prefer. We're gonna get sugar anyway out of the uh, out of the cake. So we're gonna go ahead and for every jello pudding box for cheesecake pulley pudding box. You need two cups of milk. So since I'm using two of these, we're gonna use four cups of milk. And this, again, this is a, this, ooh, this dessert is the bomb. It's highly requested. So let's get the two cups of milk that I already have poured. And we're going to pour the two cups of milk. Actually, it's four cups of milk because it's two cups per pudding box. So this is cheesecake pudding. So since I'm using two packages of that pudding, I'm using four cups of this milk and I'm using 2% milk by the way, but whatever milk you prefer. And basically I'm going to whisk this instead of using this, we're gonna whisk it. Again, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe and hit that like. So I'm whisking this pudding, cheesecake pudding, and this four cups of milk until it thickens up. So I want you to take a look at what it looks like. The consistency. Because I'm gonna show you how I layer this cheesecake jello pudding with these strawberries and this whip topping and this cake already done. Like I said, no bake involved. I'm telling y'all, this is the recipe to use for this dessert. Now, if you wanna spend all your time Baking the cake, go ahead and do that. I don't mind. But me, I'm taking the easy way out. So it looks like this pudding is done. All right. So we have the pudding already thickened and made and we do not have to put this in the refrigerator or the freezer. It is ready to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a ladle, spoon, and we're gonna layer, we're gonna put a little bit at the bottom. Then we're gonna add some strawberries. And we're gonna take some of this cake. And basically you just take the cake Take the cake and you just break it up in here. No really systematic way of doing it. You're just taking a cake and you crumble it up in the punch bowl. And now we're gonna take some whipped topping.
This was a leftover one that I had. I wanted to use this up first. It's only a little bit left in there. So we're gonna take that, we're gonna move this. Take some more. It's like a like a little bit of a lasagna. You're just gonna take some more of this pudding and drizzle it. We're gonna add some more strawberries. And you're just gonna repeat this until. You decide how much of a cake you want to make for this strawberry cheesecake pudding bowl. So now we're gonna take some more of this cake. We're gonna crumble it up in here. We're gonna use some of this other cake as well. The socket to me cake, because we've used some of this lemon, so we want to use a mixture of both. Again, this is the easy way to do this. Go ahead and use. We're going to get some more of this pull up. I actually have a bigger punch bowl than this. But this is good just for the family and then taking some over to my friend's house. So she could have some. So we have that in there. Let's see here. It's looking beautiful already. I mean, this is like you stepping into the hot love you showing up with this they gonna think you did a lot of work and it looks beautiful when it's done so now we're going to take um let's just do some strawberries let's do some strawberries like i said you can layer the cheesecake in whatever order you want to do. All right, and we're going to take some more of this cheesecake jello pudding. All right, if you haven't hit that like button and that subscribe button, go ahead and hit it. You all let me know how this recipe, this dessert, this strawberry cheesecake punch bowl cake turned out for you at your potluck or your party or your get together. So let, we're going to use some more pudding. We're 
gonna add some more strawberries in here. I'm gonna add some Cool Whip. or whip topping, all the same to me. It's just a difference in name and the amount of money you're spending on it. But it's whichever you prefer. Spreading all that around in there. Looking really pretty, y'all. Really, really pretty. So now we should go ahead and just probably add a little bit of layer cheesecake pudding on the top of that. I'm gonna move that ladle all around in there. So it smooths out the consistency. This, I'm telling you, this looks so good. And it is so good, too. Add some more strawberries. last little layer of cake and we're not going to be able to use this entire cake for this bowl because I didn't use the other big bowl this time I just used this one so I'm going back and forth between the socket to me cake and the sour cream lemon cake. And I'm going to take that ladle and I'm going to push some of it down in that cake. Because we want to do our last layer. So now we're going to use the last thing of this pudding. This is the finished product. Isn't that pretty? Again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button and that like button, hit it now. And come back and visit me and join me in making some more delicious recipes and some desserts. I'm not sure what I'm gonna make next, but I just wanna surprise you. Have a blessed day, have a blessed week. Come back, bye.